Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about why people choose to be um, mean and um, why people choose to use uh, dark energies. Well, um, I was thinking about this and I, the phrase that it came to my mind was uh, some, something a friend of mine said that he, he was um, indigenous, he still is, but he uses energy that is really dark uh, from his ancestors. And he said, if I can have peace, you can either. So the main reason is, if they can have peace, you cannot have peace. And why they do they can't do, do they want to disturb your peace? Because when you deal with the dark entities and dark energy um, as a form of magic, because magic is surrounding us every single where. Uh, the difference is the intention behind the magic you do. And I mean, magic is um, present in our words, in our thoughts, uh, and also have some specific rituals that are made but always carried with an intention. So if you do have a heavy heart, uh, if you are envious, if you um, do want to do some, something harmful f to someone, you will attract in dark entities. Even if you do, you are just doing a um, prayer to God, and I mean God's source, you know, not the other God's evil one. Even if you are doing that, if you have an evil, dark, heavy intention, maybe you will attract dark entities because the karma will come back to you. So, why do people do this? Why do people do this? The thoughts, the, the dark entities always uh, put in yourself, in your mind up. If I, I suffer, if I had to struggle, you will have to, tr to struggle too. If I did, um, if someone did me wrong, I will do wrong to other people also. For them it's natural to do that. And um, let me tell you something, sometimes you carry a lot of anger, hurt, resentment, and um, unsolved issues from your ancestors. And how does it happen? For example, that same person that told me, if I don't have peace, you won't have either, is coming from a bloodline of indigenous uh, people. And if you check out the story of indigenous um, tribes, uh, most of them were brutally killed and uh, they were, um, sorry, so I was saying they were chased by um, a lot of uh, white communities and also other communities for their knowledge, for their resources and uh, for the land that they were living in. So, they carried this anger, this uh, urge to revenge, and, um, and I understand why, because they had to see a lot of their families being uh, sacrificed for material things, or, and, uh, and not only material, but their own wisdom that they carry years and years and years with their lineage. lineage. So it's really, um, and once you do have also when you 
are raised and you hear all these things like you need to be anger with the the other communities you need to be um, you need to revenge the, the more you can or you need to be always careful you need to be in fear because they can attack anytime whatever that's what dark entities feed from fear anger resentment you know so they will try to put us in that state so we can always reproduce the same pattern also you can see there is a lot of anger resentment hurt in the black community also because of uh, racist um, sorry can also slavery and and you can see that uh, they also tend to say to their kids that uh, um, white community is really bad you can you cannot trust them whatever so there is always this anger uh, attached to some specific communities okay and I'm I'm um, doing this example but there are a lot of other examples like uh, rivals and in, um, in the same country uh, because one is from north the other is from south and so on and so on but that is an illusion the illusion of separation if you do feed those illusions if you do feed the, that anger, that um, fear, you know, you will attract more of it. And those who are in power, they do know this. They do know that. They do, they do this on purpose so that you can remain um, unconscious and that you still uh, find uh, motives to attract dark entities and use uh, dark energies and harm your brother, you know? So, it's really important to understand that uh, you have um, a pattern, whatever it is, that comes from your ancestral line. If you are willing to be a curse breaker, a gener generational curse breaker, you will go against the values of your family. And that's uh, something that uh, it's really challenging. It's really challenging to, for you to say, no, I will choose love. I will choose to be light. I will choose to, to be true. And... Um, that will piss a lot of people off, a lot of people off, because they will be faced with their own shadow. And that's why people will choose uh, evil, because it's, um, it's easier to see the, cha the shadow in others, or it's easier to blame others instead of uh, looking at yourself and understanding that the shadow that you, you see around you is a reflection of what you have inside of you. Uh, and you and you do have also a dark side that it's uh, that it's been that if it isn't acknowledged you will work against you. That's why it's so important for you to understand the self-healing process and to, for you to understand that if you truly want to evolve spiritually, you do need to do your share work because if you don't, you will fall into that trap and it only get worse and worse and worse and worse. So, are you willing to do the change? Thank you very much for listening.